the green? Okay. What's your man's cap? Well, Bonza Valley Warriors hosting the Downers Grove Trojans. Trojans starters are Anthony Bertacci, McNulty, Davies, Wardlow, and Ramsey. Bertacci to start the game with the jump ball. A little conference at the scorer's table. for the start of the game. And here we go. The Trojans win the jump ball. Warlow's gonna start it off early with a three point bucket to get his team the lead. Bucket down, uh, pass down to number 25. It's gonna be fouled down low. On Davies, 10. That's his first. The Trojans in a man defense. Putting some good pressure on the Warriors. Number 20. Decides to take it in to the hoop, but it's unable to convert. And they're in full court pressure. Five minutes, 40 seconds left in the first period. Trojans with the lead, three to zero. Warlow for another attempt at a three. He misses short, but then saves it from going out of bounds to be able to help the Trojans keep the ball. Warlow with another three-point attempt. It's shorter. Bertacci with the rebound, bounce pass to McNulty, puts it up for two. 5-0, Trojans. Warrior fans want some action here. Number two with the three point attempt, does not leave his feet. In and out. Ramsey uh, throws a high pass to Wardlow. Can't be caught. Goes out of bounds. Warriors ball. Number two decides to just take it himself straight to the basket with an easy, not so easy, right-handed left side layup. McNulty sends it down to Warlow with a tricky pass. Warlow's able to grab it. There's a nice pass from Ramsey down to McNulty for two off the backboard. 
give the Trojans a 7-2 lead over the Warriors. Number 20, he decides to take a three-point shot, just in and out. And now Davies is tripped accidentally, or incidentally, by number 22 for a foul. It's gonna be a timeout call. Three minutes and 25 seconds left in the first period. Trojans have the lead, seven to two. You want, you want to do some commentary? You got something to say? The ref's asking what we're doing over here. I think he wants to say something on camera, but uh, he did not acknowledge. Davies the inbound. Ramsey brings it up. Wardlow back to Ramsey. Wardlow with a pass that's deflected. Still gets to Wardlow. Ramsey in a pinch. Throws an overhead ball that's deflected out of bounds. Ramsey with a long three, and like he knows what he's doing, dumps it all net into the basket. Increasing the lead to eight, 10 to two. Number 34 with a give and go to 25, back to 34. Draws the foul. Good hard foul, does not make the shot, but he'll get two. And 34 shoots his first, not much arc on the shot. Goes in and out of the basket. Weltler and Bala check in for Davies and Bertacci, giving them a breather. Thirty four makes his second. Ten to three. And Ramsey throws a not so great pass to Wardlow. Stolen by the Warriors. But then McNulty is able to block that shot. Series of plays, gets the ball back down for the Trojans, but they can't convert. Score is 10 to three. Number 30 takes a three point shot. He misses short. Uh, number two tries a behind the back, over the head shot. Sorry, not a shot, a pass to his own player. It goes way high and out of bounds. Now the Warriors are in full court press. Trojans are gonna try to beat it. And they do get it down low to McNulty, out to Ramsey, who's way short on that three-point shot. Not nearly enough arc. Warriors get the ball. That's gonna be on the floor block by number 25, Bala. on the help. 
Warriors the inbound. Taking a little too much time, has to throw it to a guy who falls down and then nothing going. Trojans, Steffes tries to shoot a three, gets his own rebound. Tries to pass it, uh, intercepted, deflected, and stolen by the Warriors. Take it downtown, but uh, a little bit of sloppy pass there. They don't uh, get it to the basket. And Weltler gets the ball stolen from him with a foul in the back. And if you're gonna foul somebody, you better foul them hard. And one, come on, man. Ten to five, 41 seconds left in the first. 34 will shoot one. And he'll make it. Ten to six. Trojans slowly get the ball with a series of passes across the midcourt line. It's going to be a three seconds if he doesn't get out of there. He does. Gets it over to Weltler, takes a three way long off the backboard on the far side of the basket. Seven seconds left. A lot of pressure here. Nope, no dice. Oh, and he gets a shot off. Oh, and he almost makes it. Robsy made one of those yesterday. I did not film it because I was too busy watching it. And it went in. So I tried to get that one, but that had no chance. End of the first period. Not a lot of scoring there on that, that first period. Score is 10-6. to six. Trojans with the four-point lead. Four fouls on the Trojans versus the one foul for the Warriors. That uh, puts the Trojans, puts the Warriors into a bonus possibility. This ref's ready to get the action going. The other ref's got a conference at the scorer's table. Now we got both teams on the court. For the Trojans, we got Consenza, Steffes, Bertacci, Bala, and Ramsey. Got Consenza, he's got quick feet. That's going to be off of number 20 of the Warriors. Just a pass over his head he couldn't bring down. This goes off him, and Steffes will inbound for the Trojans. Nice series of bounce passes here, even an overhead bounce pass. There's a bounce pass attempt into Bertacci, but he's not able to get it. But then the Trojans are able to pick, back pick that ball and get it back.
Warriors in a zone. I swear every team plays us in a zone. Oh, that's a high shot by Consenza. Just a little short with a high bouncer off the rim. Stephus is able to get the rebound. Number 30 is able to grab the ball at the same time, turn it into a jump ball. It's going to be a Trojan ball inbounding. Consenza throws it up again for a three. Bertacci with the rebound throws it up high. Little contact there, but he's not able to get it off the basket. Number 22 drives in again with light contact. And he's able to get it in the basket. And one. McNulty and Wardlow back in. Bala and Steffes sit. Number 22 gets that and one in. Give his team nine, bringing him in within one of the Trojans. 10-9. Fertacci with a baseline three-point attempt that sails way over the rim. Number one with a long three-point attempt. Nothing going there. Wardlow down to Fertacci, back out to Consensus who sends it up for a three, but no, just can't get it to fall. Back to Wardlow for three, just a little short. Warriors come up with the rebound. Four minutes and 28 seconds left in the second period. Warriors nine, Trojans 10. There's a deflected pass. Ramsey gets his hand on it. Trojans end up with the ball. Nice steal. Gets a nice pass from McNulty, puts it up, gets hacked from behind. Almost gets the basket to fall, but no favor there, so he'll shoot two. Tachi's got some nice form on a shot here. Some nice rotation on the ball, nice calm approach. He makes his first. 9-11. Score should be 9-11, but oh, there it is. They fixed it. There's a nice steal by Ramsey. Sends it to McNulty. Slows it down, back to Ramsey for a three, little long. Tatsy shoots it, tries to get his own rebound, but he runs into the guy from behind and gets called for the foul. Davies checks in for Consenza.
Trojans doing a good job with the man D. Number 22 takes a jumper from the outside. Three point attempt, but doesn't get it. There's pressure now from the Warriors. Trojans break that pressure. Into McNulty for a jump shot off the far side of the board. Bertacci with the rebound, he gets hacked again. He'll shoot two. Two minutes, 11 seconds left in the half. A little long on that drifter. There it is. 12-9, timeout, Trojans. Coach makes no personnel changes during that timeout. Score is still 12-9, two minutes to play in the half. Trojans with the three-point lead. Some hot pressure there from the Trojans. Tough, long pass, couple, couple sloppy passes there. That's going to be a block, of, naturally. The guy was still moving before Jack took off. <laughs> Ramsey misses his first. Got a nice fingertip roll on that one. Makes it 13-9. Number 34 takes a baseline three-point attempt, but he doesn't get it. Outside ball movement, Davies sends a pass into McNulty. It's a little outside of his body and Warriors are able to interrupt that and get the ball. Trojans get their hands on it to create a little jump ball there. It still goes to the Warriors. Next jump ball will go to the Trojans. 
Number 34 makes a move to the top of the key, takes a shot on a pass, and drains it to, to bring his team within one, 12-13, with 30 seconds left in the, in the first half. There's a shot by Warlow that's short and inside. Bounces to a Warrior. Hitachi's able to steal that pass. Seven seconds left, six seconds. Warlow to shoot a last second shot. Just misses. Oh, and Bertacci stays with it. Gets the rebound. Wall in the air, puts it back up over the rim for two. 15-12. Trojans with the lead. We'll be back after these messages. Ramsey inbounds the ball to start the second half. Ramsey, Wardlow, Davies, Bertacci, and McNulty on the court for the Trojans. Basically the starting lineup. Davies with a three-point attempt. Almost gets it, McNulty gets the rebound. Puts it back up, goes over to the other side for Bertacci, gets the rebound. He puts it up, but he's got a hand across his arm. Can't get it to fall, so he'll shoot two. Bertacci's first free throw is all net. 16 to 12. Trojans. Warriors get the rebound, bring it up quickly. Fives pass to number 22. Goes through his hands and out of bounds. Trojan ball. Uh, Davies gets a uh, double team there. Throws the ball away to the Warriors who take it all the way down. A little bit of sloppy defense there and a block call on Ramsey. Number 34 makes his first, 13-16. Thirty-four makes his second. Sixteen fourteen. Comedy by the rest. He fixed his own mistake. That's rare. Commend him for that. 
You know, there's a lot of lines on this floor. Not sure what's in, what's out, what's left, what's right. But the bold green is out of bounds. So Trojans inbound the ball and they set up their offense. There's a nice. Nice movement down low, McNulty can't, uh, can't get it in the basket from under the basket there after two attempts. Warriors end up with the ball. They don't convert on their end and now the Trojans have it back on their offense. There's Wardlow with a shot. McNulty with another rebound, puts it back up. This time he gets it to go. 18-14. Trojans, four minutes left in the third period. Number two is wide open. He takes his three-point shot. Number 34 is gonna reach in after Davies gets the rebound. And collides with Davies. Gets called for a foul. Now the Warriors are going to full court press. That's going to be a charge call with a shoulder into number 20 by McNulty. Kind of an easy call to make. Warriors number 34 attempts a three-point shot. Number two jumps high for a short guy and gets the rebound and ends up in a jump ball, Warriors ball. Still 18-14. Oh, there's a nice pass, number 20. He just turns and layups. Eighteen sixteen. Tachi takes a baseline three-point attempt. That's short. Warriors rebound it. They got a wide open guy. On the wing, number three, he easily makes a three-point shot, giving the Warriors the first lead in the game. McNulty dribbles it off at number 20's foot, turns it over to the Warriors, who then, number three, is wide open again. Misses everything, Ramsey gets the rebound. Orlo decides to take it himself, he's short. Warriors with the rebound. Bring it down, number 22 with the turnaround layup. And they got some momentum here. Another time I would take a timeout if I was the coach, but I am not. Just a guy on the sideline making lots of comments. Oh, hey, there we go, there's a timeout. Who's the smart guy now? Warriors now have the lead. Maybe the first time in the game, 21-18. One minute, 30 seconds left in the third period. 
Warriors seem to pick up some speed there and confidence. Two fouls each for both teams, so no one close to the bonus just yet. Going to be a roster change here. Ramsey, Steffes, McNulty, Vala, and Davies take the court. Trojans ball. Trailing by three. Davies with the shot. <laughs> Steph is getting aggressive there on that rebound. Wants a piece of it, but he gets a piece of the Warriors. So that's a foul on 1-5 for the Downers Grove Trojans. Still trailing by three. They're going to try to get some, get a stop here. Get back to the other end and make something happen. Number 20 drives the hoop. Can't really get a good shot off. McNulty with the rebound. He breaks the full court pressure. Tries to get down to Vala, but it goes off a warrior. That's gonna be Trojan ball. At their own end, at their own end, trailing by three. 20 seconds left in the third period. Ten seconds. There's a shot by Ramsey that's somewhat blocked. Not sure he had much of a choice there. Seven minutes left in the game. Trojans trailing by three. It's been a minute since they scored. stuff to do <laughs> well they're in for the Trojans it's the only personnel change during that timeout 
Ooh, very nice pass from Romsey to McNulty, who turns, no dribble, takes a step right to the hoop and lays it up off the backboard for two, bringing his team within one of, the, of a tie. The 20 with a fake. Puts up a jump shot, rolls across the rim and out. McNulty with the rebound, gets it out to Romsey, who then throws it into pressure. McNulty having a hell of a game. With a crazy pass from Romsey, nearly gets picked off. Decides to just dribble, put the ball down on the floor. Kind of a sideways movement to the hoop. Jumps off balance. Oh, McNulty gets his own rebound after Vala's rake to the ground by number 20. Leaves an open space on the right side of the basket. Grabs the rebound, puts it back up off the basket for two and one. Well, that was almost a five-point play. There's a steal by Romsey. He's going to try to bring it all the way. He's going to draw the foul. Does not get the call, but he's able to balance himself and get it in the basket. And the Trojan bench is stoked. 21-26, that's quite a run by the Trojans. Take the lead, the Warriors coach is pissed. Too bad. No blocking out. I'll translate for you. There's no blocking out, blah, blah, blah. I'm so mad at you guys. You guys are losing. Downers Grove coach is telling his boys, keep it up, keep up the energy, keep crashing the boards. Let's go take it to them. Let's get some good, nice, crisp passes to the inside. If you got it, take it to the hoop. If you don't, put it back out. Six minutes left in the game. Trojans leading by five. Weller, Steppes, Vala, McNulty, Romsey. Going to try to close this game out with a W. Number 10 with the three-point shot from the outside. He's just a little bit long. Bounces, Steppes with the rebound. Oh, there's a... Kind of an unnecessary pass across the entire middle of the court. It's intercepted by the Warriors. And they take it down and set up their offense. That's going to be a push on Weltler, number 24. It's going to make it four fouls for the Trojans. Warriors have four as well. Warlow's gonna check in for Weltler. Five fifteen left in the game. Some good hustle by Steffes. Nearly is able to steal the ball. Deflects it, can't get it before it goes out of bounds, but he sure tries. There's number 10 with a long three point. He's got no chance whatsoever. Far to the right. Yeah. 
Orlow under pressure. Gets it down to McNulty. Can't get it. Bobbles. Bounces off his knee and goes out of bounds. Turns it over to the Warriors. Good pressure by the Trojans. Gets it over to number two, the Warriors. Up and over Vala. Romsey tips that ball out of bounds. Make sure that the Warriors don't get it for an easy basket. Four minutes, 16 seconds left. Number 20 with the three-point shot. That's short. McNulty with the rebound. Hands it off to Romsey. Under four minutes now. Warriors really leaving that post position wide open in a 3-2 zone. Over to Warlow, wide open. Could have taken that three, but I think they're trying to burn a little time off like the other teams do to us. It's probably a good strategy with a five point lead deep in the game. Yeah, it's gonna be a foul on number two, it's okay. I mean, the Warriors, you know, they wanna to try to stop the ball and create some pressure anyway. A Couple more of those though, we're gonna start shooting bonus. Gonna be a tip by number 22 out of bounds. Trojans ball. Three minutes, 11 seconds left. Reach in, reach in. There's Wardlow, wide open in the corner. Hits it off the top of the backboard. That's gonna be a push foul. On Bala. Davies checks in for Steffes. Not a bad idea to make that foul on a fast break with a five point lead, two and a half minutes left in the game. Want to slow the ball down, don't give them any easy baskets. Play some good D here, get a turnover like that. Just like I wrote it up. Timeout, Trojans, probably smart. They didn't look like uh, they were really set for that. Two eleven in the game, 21-26. Trojans with a five point lead. Trojans will inbound. That was a crazy pass like by a quarterback all the way across the court. 
Davies. It's going to be a pass. It's kicked by number 22 out of bounds. Trojans ball. Ball out to Davies for three. 29, 21, 145 left in the game. Number 20, he wants it. He looks determined. He takes it all the way to the basket, gets it in. Timeout called by the Warriors. Thought you had to have possession to call timeout, but maybe a basket going in is possession. Twenty-three, twenty-nine. One minute, forty seconds left in the game. Both teams with five fouls. Not really in danger of a bonus situation. I got to think the Warriors here are going to start fouling to get that, um, get close to that, if not into that, so they can get the ball back and hopefully force the Trojans to make free throws. Assuming the Warriors are going to be in full, cut pr for full court press. Looks like they are lining up for that. So the Trojans are going to have to be smart about their passes, break the press, set up the offense. Yeah, so the Warriors are already into the fouling game, it looks like. That'll give him six. One more will be in the bonus. Davies inbounds it to Ramsey. Gets it to Davies, over to McNulty, and he's fouled. That's going to be seven. That's one and one. We like McNulty at the line. See if he can extend the lead here with one minute, 26 seconds left. Back down, back down. That was a nice smooth shot. 30, 23, Trojans up by seven. Thirty-one, twenty-three. Trojans up by eight. One minute, twenty-six seconds left. Warriors got to do something quick here. They got to get a three-point shot or a jump shot that's not very good. Not really going to help them. They're going to try and trap. Oh, they get the ball and. Trap Wardlow in the corner, and they're able to make him make a mistake. We get the ball from him, get an easy layup, 25-31, but then uh, Trojans fast break. Ramsey takes the ball, dribbles, gets fouled by the Warriors. Pretty quickly into the, into the dribble. Less than one minute left. Rams with... One, he'll get the rebound with a little help. Oh, jeez. Bala down low, can't get it. Maybe a little nervous. That's from the left side, so they're gonna have to start fouling here. 
Well, Ward just forced a mistake. Ramsey throws it out of bounds. No way for Wardlow to get that. Thirty-three seconds left. Warriors trailing by six. They're gonna have to do something quick. I mean, it is time is not in their favor. Twenty gets it stripped. Bala gets a picks up the ball. Robsy gets it out. There's a push on McNulty's back. That's an easy call. Twelve seconds left. McNulty will go to the line with a six-point lead. McNulty misses it. Number 20. Oh, he travels. That's a travel and a half. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Trojans are excited about that win. It was a hard-fought win. A lot of good plays. 31-25 over Wobanzi.